Basement. Good day, mates, and welcome back to Knowledge 30 degrees Celsius weather. I'm here today with the Nixon era. I'm here today with our resident soup opera expert, Bames Jakinski. He works at the University of Aberdeen. Take it away, Doc. Well, you see, Richard M. Nixon. Who was he? What was he? Some say President of the United States, albeit for a shorter time than expected. Some say demigod. Some say cereal-based life organism. Truly, I'm not sure if we can be sure. But one thing, one thing, my friends, is for certain. And that one thing is, he was a communist. And you see, that's what the government tries to cover up. Because nobody really remembers the Nixon era. However, we can infer from several speeches he gave at several different times that in fact he was working secretly with Nikita Khrushchev um, and with that <laughs> I'm going to take a brief recess to collect my thoughts And now, industrial strip mining. We'll reach gold eventually, boys. Eventually. Keep telling yourself that. Hola, basementa de saber. Today I'm here with Joke Warfare. With our resident Joke Warfare expert, Albert. What do you got to say, Albert? Well, it's very stimulating, you see. Joke warfare is warfare involving jokes. Never would have thought of that, would you, old chap? Not at all. It was first used in the trenches of uh, Nanking by the North Koreans in the year 3048. And now, uh, there's a very high chance of a paradigm shift. Indeed. Indeed. Is that... Blue? The color red? Paradigm shift! <laughs> the paradigm shift is upon us! Once again! Centuries-old buildings crumble to dust! Rivers run black with oil! The centuries-old dust crumbles back into buildings! Oh god! Trees turn to mountains! Mountains to trees! <laughs> the concrete paving stones the sidewalk is suddenly melt! The age of Scorpio is upon us! <laughs> Somewhere in space a large number ticks lower! <laughs> the 14th driver awaits us! And now... I eat while he play. I'll be playing the stock market today. I've given up food as it's only something that binds me to this mortal plane.
live in a post-music world. Talk. I'm here today with nixtamalization. Nixtamalization is such a beautiful topic and such a complex one to fully understand. Now, you see, the beginnings of nixtamalization were, of course, generated in the 15th century with um, the epic My Adventures in Nixtamalization by English poet John Locke. Um, of course, after that, it, um, the, the definition had changed, of course, slightly, but the, the essence of nixtamalization, like, remained the same, of course, as you know. Um, after that, the, um, community of nixtamalization began to decay, and there was, um, considerable factional warfare, of course, um, and now we live in a sort of, um, anarcho nixtamalizationist world where it has lost any form of definition that it once had and it is plagued by so much infighting that... let's talk about syringes uh, syringes were first used in the uh, war the war of the roses in them in the ninth century before Christ. It's, uh... This, uh, syringes remind me very much of my, my great aunt, <coughs> and, um... Remind me very much of the impending second paradigm shift. I'm also reminded of a disembodied voice calling my name from the stairwells above. And now, looking for the graviton. <laughs> and now, looking for the graviton. <clears throat> As I stroll disconsolately through this prison complex in um, Santa Fe, Alabama. I'm reminded of Newton's third law of thermodynamics. Who could possibly tell me something about Newton's third law of thermodynamics? Well, man lab, how the hell are you? Oh, it's my good friend, um, Bob Segris. Why, indeed it is. I'm positively neutered to see you again. Yes. It reminds me almost of the, uh, the, the 14th great shifting paradigm of the year 1003. Indeed it does. I remember we used to share many stories about that time until I found myself locked up in this prison never to escape again. But it is quite nice to see you here. Say, what, what, what brings you here today? Well, Newton's third law of thermodynamics, of course. Ah, uh, yes. Newton's third law of um, thermodynamics. When you, when you push something, it, it keeps going, as evidenced by my, um, my, my assistant here. Um, I've forgotten his name at the moment, but uh, trust me, it'll come to me eventually. When I apply a force, the exact same force is exerted back upon me. And as you see, that's Newton's third law of thermodynamics. Fascinating. Tell me, do you know where I could find the laboratory? Um, well, why, of course. It's that way. Thank you. And now, commercial fire.
Together we can bring down big firewood. Yes, just, just you and me, friend. Together, the two of us. We can do it if we try. Just 63 cents, that's all I ask. 63 cents a day, that's, that's less than three cents an hour. It's, it's less than one cent a minute, man. Is it that much? Is it that much to ask? Is it that much to ask of you for just the, 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 the small price of 63 cents a day? That we can, we can just take down big firewood once and for all. It really only needs to be the two of us. Just, just you and I, man, and your 63 cents. That's all I need. 63 cents, and I swear it's for firewood. I swear it's to dismantle the whole corrupt industry. That's all I need, man. 63, 63 cents. I'm, I'm begging. I'm practically on my knees for this one thing. 63 cents. It's commercial firewood, man. They do horrible things in that industry. They've hurt. They've hurt many people. <laughs> Millions of lives have been ruined because of them. You expect me to just stand here and let it all happen? It's not something I can. It's not something I can take. Sitting up, standing down, laying sideways, in any in any which geometric arrangement you put me, I'd still hate it. I'd still hate every second of it. So, just one person. If this can just get to one person out there, sixty-three cents. WNC Productions on Patreon. I swear to God, man. We'll do it, and then, and then perhaps we will have achieved peace. But only then. But only then.